Let's get out there, everybody. Take a look at our weather forecast, which has been a lot quieter today. As you know, wrapping up the weekend here on Sunday with mainly dry conditions. Did have a brief shower here mid afternoon at Fox 17. Didn't last long, and we're actually getting into better sunshine now late afternoon and early evening. That's some good news. Temperatures today did max out in the lower 80s in Grand Rapids. Officially uh, got to 82 at the airport in GR, and you could see some low to mid 80s down to the south. How about that? With better sunshine for a longer period of time. Kalamazoo over to Battle Creek. Today's highs and lows on the board. Well, uh, it looks like they're not checking in here, folks, but rest assured uh, when they do here shortly, it's going to be the lower 80s around West Michigan for the most part. Now, a West or occasionally southwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour and sometimes has even gusted to about 25 to 30 miles per hour, even 35 at times today. So it has been breezy and that has been nice because the dew points have been right around 70 to the lower 70s once again. Uh, dew points actually coming down marginally though this evening and that's going to lead to a little bit of a cooler overnight. You know, our low temperature last night was 72 in Grand Rapids. I think we get down into the lower half of the 60s overnight tonight officially going to go 62 in GR, mid 60s Kalamazoo to Battle Creek and right around 60 degrees along the immediate shoreline. As far as the live radar, not following a whole lot, but I do have to say where there has been better sunshine down to the south, uh, we are popping a couple showers in the vicinity of our southeastern communities. I think it stays to the southeast though and well southeast of Grand Rapids between now and the next several hours, but there could be an additional shower or thunderstorm popping. We'll keep our eyes on that, not looking for full-blown severe your weather, but there could be a localized wind gust that has to be monitored between now and say 8, 9, 10 o'clock, uh, you know, shortly after the sun goes down. I think things start to simmer down for the overnight period. Future track model, this is the uh, RPM model. In fact, watch it as it goes out in motion, 7 o'clock towards 8, 9, 10 o'clock. Not a whole lot happening, but again, I think probably a couple showers, maybe even a thunder shower mixed in there. Uh, overnight tonight, we do go dry. It'll be partly cloudy. I think we start off the day with a little bit of sunshine here in Grand Rapids, a tendency for more clouds down to the south here, uh, 8, 9, 10 o'clock on Monday morning. Uh, maybe even a few more showers, uh, I think, by mid to late morning across the I-94 corridor as we get into the afternoon. Some of that moisture tries to come northward towards I-96 and probably flaring a few showers and thunderstorms at that time right on into Monday evening and early Tuesday morning. So we'll watch that. I think many hours, though, tomorrow are going to be dry in Grand Rapids. We'll get to 81 degrees, perhaps even 82 or 83 if we can hold off the rain until later in the afternoon. A few showers and storms on Tuesday as well, even on Wednesday and Thursday. But I do think that uh, the tendency off the models now is to go a little bit drier for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So the holiday weekend, 4th of July weekend, not real warm around here necessarily mid to upper 70s to around 80 degrees, but I think lesser prospects for rain into next weekend. I'll have a full update for you tonight at 10 and 11. Tune in to it, folks, and uh, we'll talk more at that time.